Hello and welcome to Spatial News. Uh, this time we are part of uh, overnight uh, Northern Lights, which is uh, happening in Estonia, or not happening in Estonia per se, but we are dealing with Estonian uh, ecosystem and what's happening there in the overnight, and hence the Spatial News has also some information on Estonian uh, augmented reality and virtual reality scene. So welcome to the special news. So uh, eyes on Estonia. Uh, we have uh, a cooperation with the Estonian Virtual and Augmented Reality Association and they are about to publish an interesting uh, study on what's happening in the Estonian uh, scene. So here are a few highlights about that. Uh, two of the biggest Estonian XR success stories in 21 has been the Metaverse Avatars platform, Ready Player Me, and the VR Crane Into the Radius by CM Games. So those were the two, two of the biggest things coming from Estonia in 21 regarding uh, extended reality scene. Then on with the employment part, uh, Estonian XR companies are planning to hire around 100 new employees in 2020 which is quite a trend in, in the world, so people are hiring in this scene quite a lot. Then uh, what's the uh, value of Estonian XR scene? So it is an estimate that the value was in 21, 3.2 million euros, uh, which has a impressive growth rate of 60% from 2020. Then uh, just to note that 95% of all Estonian XR products and services are exported. So only 5% are used within Estonia, which is quite interesting statistic. I would like to see that statistics in other countries as well, because that sounds quite interesting. So that was uh, something about Estonia. Now I think we need to jump with the colors regarding some immersive experiences. I think the first one is about Estonia as well. Uh, this time there's an AI-driven 3D modeling platform uh, called Alpha Air that has raised something under a million euros in, in uh, their funding round. So please, Kalle, take it away. Let's see what's going on there. Yes, hello. Here you see a standard shoe. It is a shoe. Nike shoe. Yes. And, and can you see? It is a scanning. Yes. Scanning, scanning, yes, it is scanning the shoe and uh, scanning the shoe makes a virtual shoe, yes, virtual shoe comes from scanning, yes, scanning is going on, it becomes a scanned shoe, yes, can you see, let's, yes, skip, skip, Processing, yes, I skipped the video, yes. Now it is processing and now it is a 3D shoe. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Kalle. That was, that was quite uh, nice, so to say. I would like to model myself with that and see what happens with, <laughs> with that sort of 3D modeling software. Okay, then uh, I think Palle has something about a VR shooter game or something like that. Please, Palle, do tell me more. Hey, son. Hare Palle. I am here in virtual reality where there is a new uh, version of the game, uh, Estonian game called uh, Into the Radius. I don't have my reading glasses on, so I have to, you know, yes. And uh, it has been titled as the most immersive VR game. So as you can see from the footage, it looks very good, at least for me. Uh, scary good, scary game. It has a lot of features. It has been also said that uh, it's hard to make out what's the storyline there, but I guess uh, someone smarter than me can figure it out. Uh, but it looks very immersive. Uh, I'm not sure if I would want to be playing that though. So, but update from the Estonian market there. So go ahead, back to you, Temu. Thank you, Paul. That was, uh, how would I say, 
rather interesting take on a shooter, a scary one uh, for me. Okay, now we shall end up with the short topics. Uh, first, we have Anarchy Labs, which have, we have talked about before also, but they have this drone uh, capabilities with where you can fly drones using HoloLenses. And now they have updated their flight, uh, night flight capabilities. Here in the video, you can see them, or I think it's on that side. On the video, you can see, see it playing uh, footage of their new uh, interface with, I think, HoloLens 2. So that looks quite amazing, actually. I would, I, I don't have a drone, but I would like to have. So I think uh, if I get one, I want to fly it with that. So that's an interesting way of flying drones for me. Then uh, Punu Games has released a uh, Punu game, I think, in Steam, uh, Arrival of the Punu is a story about Punnu from outer space. Uh, they are explorers who make a crash landing on a planet called, called Earth. In the mission to fix their broken ship, they get an ally of a little child whose imagination uh, will open up a whole new perspective on our home planet. That was, I read it from the paper, if you did not. But an interesting... Uh, game or thing from uh i don't know if there's any augmented reality about that but news anyway i guess should be augmented reality i think i need to go back to the one who's writing these news that this may not have that but well it's there anyway then last but not least glitchy uh, virtual grasp hand interaction is the thing here now uh in the video you can see playing is a uh, a engine that automatically creates natural and realistic hand interactions. I needed to look there how it was said there, but it is uh, kind of the product of eight years of ro robotic research and publishes across, across 30 papers and whatnot. So an interesting plugin to use when you are creating uh, virtual reality uh, games or education uh, stuff or whatever you are doing, I think you should definitely look it up. I think that's an interesting uh, plugin to use when you are using hand interactions in virtual reality. So please check it out. That's interesting. And that's all we have time for today. I've been using this mouse the whole time, looking at what's written for me. And <laughs> that I don't know if that's relevant or not. But anyway, thank you. And have a good overnight, or if you are watching this from the recording, have a good whatever you are doing. Thank you. To lose.